Hi, I'm Dr. Sam Zoranovich. I'm a chiropractor, and this is Jason, who's a massage therapist. He's helping me out today, uh, teaching you some basic spinal mobility movements that are really good at limbering up the whole spine and taking your brain out of stress. So to get started, I'm going to ask Jason to come to all fours, and we're going to do a variation on cat and cow. If you've ever done yoga, you've probably seen cat-cow before. The one difference that we're going to do here is that instead of stretching and pressing at the ends of movement, we're going to skip all of that. It's just a really light, floaty movement, up and down. So Jason, if you could just come up into cat, let your head hang. Good. And then just easily drop down towards the cow with your belly dropping. Easy. So you're just going to synchronize this with your breath. Slow and gentle. We'll do perhaps a total of 20 of them in a full practice. Jason will do three or four now. And again, there's no pushing, there's no stretching, there's no feeling of a pulling taffy. It's just wind blowing through reeds. It's just water flowing down a creek. No big. Great. So you're going to do 20 to 25 of those. And then will you come back to neutral, please? So the next one is slightly more complicated. We're staying in this position. Jason is going to bring his right hip towards his right armpit. Great. You're going to at the same time bring your shoulder and head to meet so that if seen from above, Jason is in a C shape. And then reverse it. Bring the left hip towards the left armpit, the left shoulder towards the left hip, into a C shape. Still, no pushing. This one is a really strong temptation to like really, and don't bother. It's just a really easy side to side, back and forth. So if you want to just back and forth with that, couple times. In a full practice, again, you're going to do 20 to 25 of these movements. For Jason today, he'll do two or three more of them. Slow and easy. Great. And then come back to neutral, please. Great. So the third variation in this cat-cow sequence, um, Jason is going to drop to his left elbow and look over his right shoulder at the same time. Great, and then switch. And look over your left shoulder, easy, and switch. Now Jason is taking a really great slow pace. If you have plenty of time and you wanna really linger in this, this is a great rate to do it at because it really helps the tissue open easily. If you're a little bit more crunched to time for, for time, you can go a little bit quicker so long as you're not putting any more effort in, into it. Again, 20 to 25 of these every morning is a really great time to do this. I'll come back to neutral, thank you. Okay, so the last one of these in this cat-cow variation, I call clean the barrel. Um, and this, is, this one's the most complicated just from a coordination perspective. So you're gonna start in cat pose with your uh, back arched and your head down, great. As you come down, you're also going to bring your rib cage off to the right. So end up with your rib cage over here on the, uh, in the middle. So start moving this way and down. That's it, right there. Then you're gonna continue that circle down and you're sort of in cow pose. And then up and to the left, your head starts to drop. And then you finish up in the center in cat pose again. See if you can do another circle like that, Jason. On the next circle, try to reduce how much movement is happening in your knees, if you possibly can, and just keep everything happening in the back. It's tricky. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Great. And then change directions. So this one is the trickiest one to coordinate, but once you get it down, it feels great, and it really opens up a lot of space in the rib cage, in the low back, it even loosens up the neck really good. If you want to come back to neutral and then actually come into child's pose. So the last exercise that I want to show you today, all of these create length and ease and freedom of movement along the spine. This one is the hardest of all of them to coordinate and it's going to take a little bit of practice, I promise. The basic movement is I want to roll through my spine. But we're going to be doing it going from child's pose into cobra pose. If you've ever done yoga, again, you've done these poses. If not, they're fairly easy to get into. Why don't you just go from here normally into a cobra pose so we can see the two end ranges of motion all the way forward. 
beautiful. Great. Okay. So we're gonna the whole trick, come on back to the child's pose. The whole trick is moving in a sinuous way. So Jason is gonna start by really thinking about lifting up the sacrum, that's the end of the spine. You're gonna lift here, and then you're gonna keep lifting through here and here, and unfurl the last thing that comes up is your head. I really like to think about like playing with a jump rope and sending a wave down the jump rope where the jump rope is the spine. So you can do that again, lifting really low and then lift here and then lift here and then here. And as you move forward, your head unfurls. And it's a wave that travels through your whole spine. You pull yourself back by tightening and bringing your hips straight back. 10 of those finishes out this whole practice. The whole thing should take between five and 10 minutes, depending upon how fast you go, and is a really, really great, juicy self-care practice to create a lot of length and space along the spine, take the brain out of the fight, flight, stress mode, back into rest and play. Enjoy.